CAAPM Team Center provides an overview of an application environment. Administrators use Team Center to see the health state of the environment. Level 1 analysts monitor problems and warning signs in the environment with Experience View. A valuable tool in the CAAPM Team Center Experience View is the Assisted Triage Panel. You are provided with problems and anomalies that explain aspects of one or more events. So how does Assisted Triage work? Assisted Triage creates problems and anomalies about events in your system. Assisted Triage reacts to the following types of events. Stalls, errors, alerts, and unstable response times. The Assisted Triage flows in six steps. Events in your APM system occur as variance intensity, errors, stalls, APM alerts, and so on. An event contains a possible suspect for causing the problem. An event generator gathers event data from different sources and sends the data to the event processor. The event contextualizer receives the events from generators across a cluster, processes the events, and gathers any related events into a context. The contextualizer passes this context information to the editor. The editor tracks different contexts and assigns one reporter per specific event context for further analysis. Reporters know the different type of analysts that are available in the system and run the context through each analyst. Analysts analyze the context for event types, patterns, and potential impact, and then each analyst creates a statement. Analysts work together to record evidence or create stories from the statements, and then store the data in the APM database. The stories appear as problems or anomalies on the Team Center Experience View and Analysis Notebook. It is important to note the Enterprise Manager generates and collects metrics about the assisted triage components. These supportability metrics are useful in assessing the Enterprise Manager health. Problems and anomalies explain aspects of one or more events. These aspects include what. The what summarizes the event including any suspected causes. This information appears as a headline for a problem or anomaly on the Team Center Experience View and Analysis Notebook. The where locates an event occurrence, typically information like the host and agent name. Where can have more details when available. The who identifies the transactions that are affected or might be impacted. This aspect also determines how many transactions are affected. The when records an event occurrence, typically the start and end of a stall event, an error event, or an instability. The why explains an event occurrence. In the following demonstration, Pete, a level one analyst, has been asked to investigate the complaints in the Tixchange application by customers. Pete will use the assisted triage provided by Team Center Experience View to do this investigation. Pete has logged into APM Team Center and is looking at the Tixchange card. From this card, Pete can tell the overall health is 99. There are 13 problems, six anomalies, and there have been 36,000 poor transactions. He sees there are a large number of slow and failing transactions. By clicking on the card name, Pete opens the card to reveal all the Tixchange applications. Pete can see there are two Node.js versions of Tixchange and a Tomcat version of the application. There are four problem types for Tixchange Web, including the backend database server, internal action servlet, backend system, and a call to the backend database server. Pete decides to select the first problem shown. Problem isolated to backend TixChange on TixChange DB 3306. The problem first appeared on November 22, 2016 at 11.16 a.m. and last appeared on November 22, 2016 at 12.42 p.m. To get further details, Pete expands the default card. He can see there are several shop transactions that show having issues. Clicking on the problem isolated to backend TixChange on TixChange DB, he can get a better indication of what the problem is. The checkout order confirmed is the problem transaction. From here, Pete will open the analysis notebook to get a better look at the problems with this transaction. In the story behind this transaction, we see the isolated problem first occurred on November 22, 2016 at 11.16 a.m and the last occurrence was on November 22, 2016 at 11.29 a.m. He looks over the error message which contains MySQL transaction rollback exception, deadlock found when trying to get lock, try restarting transaction. The blame point metrics show these errors under the errors per interval chart. As he scrolls down looking at the isolated problems, Pete notices an SQL alert, error message as described previously.
he will walk up the transaction trace to see what is impacted by the error. The servlet, action servlet, service shows response time alerts and one alert, which would be expected. Pete now looks at the checkout order confirm transaction to see transaction error alerts. He collapses the assisted triage panel, relationship flow, and summary panel to get a better view of the metrics. Pete sees Jill as the owner of this application and sends her an email with a link to the notepad so she can investigate. The email has the link to access where Pete was performing triage and which node to look at. Jill receives the email. By clicking on the link in the email, she is taken to the APM TC in the notebook. She clicks on the node that was mentioned in the email. The problems and anomalies are expanded by clicking on the expand button. Jill now sees the error message and will notify Andrew, the TixChange application developer, so he can fix the problem in TixChange. I'm sure you now have an understanding of triaging using CA APM Experience View. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, visit our website, ca.com/education, and for more videos, please subscribe to the CA Educate channel on YouTube.